Hello everyone, and welcome back to Warrior Cats, The Untold Tales. And we are back with Rin Feather of Thunder Clan. And she is watching over her itty bitty little baby Apple Kit. Oh, Apple Kit smiles sleepily at you. You guys, think about how amazing that would be to have your little itty bitty baby kit smiling at you like that. <gasps> My heart. But little Apple Kit is here, uh, safe inside of the little brambles that we have made out of these goldenrod pieces, where he hopefully will be able to play with this tiny shiny thing and play Play with all of the apples we bring back so he knows his namesake with his father wild nose <gasps> wild nose found something for us what is it oh it's a what is it it's a dead mouse <laughs> thank you wild nose we are a little bit hungry so that's really wonderful all right but we are back with Rin Feather and wild nose of thunder clan and Rin Feather has come to the realization that she is being chased down by river clan somebody Somebody in River Clan has decided that she needs to pay for the deaths that she has caused of the River Clan lilies. I think actually she's only killed uh, one cat with the lily suffix um, in River Clan, and then she's killed one cat with that in Wind Clan. But still, Silk Lily will never forgive the death of her sister. So let's see. Do I have a little bit of water over here? All right, we'll drink from a little piece of moss. So Renfeather has heard rumors when Ambusher Greypool actually showed up last time and tried to take us out. It is like they are sending their best assassin cats after us now. So she knows that there are cats coming for her. And Renfeather's not really sure how to deal with that other than the fact that she knows she has Apple Kit now. Little Apple Kit here in Thunder Clan, and she will do whatever it takes to protect Apple Kit. So we're actually going to come and talk to trainer Maple Stripe, and we are going to become a more powerful warrior now. Oh my gosh, we have 79 experience points. Wow, hold your ground. Let's see, claws, basic attack, hurts enemy cats. At higher ranks, your claws will become more lethal. We can do feral slash, a deep, oops, let's go ahead and sleep. A deep cutting attack that will leave your enemies bleeding. All nearby enemies are giving damage effect over time. Hmm, that may really suit us quite well. Let's go ahead and sleep in the brambles. We do need to recover a little bit of health after being ambushed by River Clan yesterday. Hmm. All right, so let's go ahead. Maple Stripe. I think we're going. Oh, did we just get more experience for sleeping? That's kind of cool. Uh, roar of the Lion. Make your enemies quake in fear with this powerful ancient roar. Cause your foes to run away in terror for a few moments. Charge. Launch yourself into battle in a frenzy so powerful that you become temporarily invincible. <gasps> These kinds of skills would be so cool to have in our Sims 3 series. And not anything where we have to like, like, oh, here's enough experience points for a cat and we'll assign this here. But it would be kind of cool if maybe like when the cat hit, uh, maybe... Oh, hunting level five or hunting level 10 or maybe every like second hunting level, we could give them a skill point for a specific skill. And maybe they could even sacrifice some of their hunting levels, like if they hit hunting level 10, but want to really develop the roar skill so they can become quite intimidating. We might like sacrifice half their skill points and they'd be back to five and have to train back up and then they could develop their skills that way. That may be something fun to do in our Sims 3 series. I'll have to think about that. I think for now... We're going to give her Feral Slash because that sounds like something that an angry mama cat who's a little bit worried about her kit would really want. So we're going to take away Track Prey and we are going to add a whole bunch of Angry Slash. So she's got a lot, like rank three on Angry Slash now. That should make her a pretty good warrior. And she doesn't intend to be like a really powerful warrior, but she's she's done being pushed around. Ren Feather is going to protect her kit. She is going to protect her clan. She is going to make sure that they are as well defended as she can possibly make them. And I think she's also going to become a mentor this time. Sky Star has probably noted that she's got a little bit of a different personality about her lately. Our all right, the guards haven't seen anything interesting. So yeah, I think Skystar would have noted that she's got a little bit more of a commanding personality. The very timid, easily beat up little Rin Feather of, <laughs> I guess that would have just been, uh-oh, uh-oh. All right, we'll do glare. Back off, you guys. Shadeheart, get out of here, get out of here. Scout, it's Scout Blackheart. Oh, what kind of, what kind of devious cat do you need to be to be named Blackheart? Oh, he's so strong, run! Run! Oh, I think we're not gonna make it if I- Oh, he defeated Reinhardt! 
They came for him. Oh no, Rinfeather, why? We were gonna we were gonna be noble. We were gonna be tough. We were gonna take them all out, and instead she's clinging to life already. Oh, so she understands she just needs to become a stronger fighter. Alright, we'll have to line up more carefully. I think I'm just lining Rinfeather. Poor Rinfeather. She should be a good fighter by now, and I think I'm just like lining her up in an awkward direction. And so that makes it so she takes a lot of damage. Gosh darn, I didn't want to use up all of our beautiful, beautiful reputation that way. We worked so hard. We worked so hard to get that reputation. I think that Renfeather would remember the mice. So let me drink really quickly. She would remember the mice that we have up at the barn. So there's actually the barn. And that is all the way up... Um, I guess, is that near the carrion place? I don't think that's the carrion place. But Shadow Clan Camp has a barn next to it. I don't think that's the carrion place. But if it is, hey, we brought back a bunch of dead mice from there. So I hope the clan doesn't suddenly fall to a sickness. That'd be kind of cool if there was like random events that happened. Um, and some days, like, they affected the clan differently than other days. Let's see. That's something we do do in our Sims 3 Warrior Cat series. But I need to do it more often. We get caught up in so many of the plots too often. And I don't see any horsetail, so I'm just not sure if horsetail is just not going to show up at all uh, during leaf bear. That makes being a medicine cat assistant assistant really difficult. All right, let's see. I guess it would be the medicine cat apprentice assistant is what we are. All right, let's see. Anything over here? Hmm. No prey. Yeah, I think this would convince Rinfeather that she needs to go up to the barn. And uh, dark heart. Let's get away. I ah! And then we're gonna run for it. I don't even want to know what kind of cat, like what you have to do, as one of the Shadow Clan cats to get the name Dark Heart. That just sounds so devious. And we will possibly be playing as a Shadow Clan cat too, because I know that is some of your guys' favorite clans. Uh, we have a lot of Shadow Clan lovers. <gasps> a two leg again! No, run away! Oh my gosh! Oh. My. Gosh. Rinfeather. It's been a year since that terrible day when Rinfeather was lost on Thunderpath, hit by a monster while she was being chased by a two-leg through the snow. It doesn't seem like the two-leg really meant any harm. She was just a young child bundled up and playing in the snow, and she saw a cat and chased after it. But Rinfeather was terrified and confused and ran out through the snow onto Thunderpath and never had a chance to see the oncoming monster. It was a very, very sad day for ThunderClan. Of course, RiverClan claimed that it was all part of StarClan's justice, but that didn't sit well with ThunderClan. Wild Nose eventually wandered away, sad at the loss of his mate and confused at how Kat seemed to justify her death by Star Clan's justice. And finally, their kit, Applepaw, grew up into Apple Shadow. He gained the name Apple Shadow because even though he's a bit of a curious cat and he is a strong warrior and does well with Thunder Clan, he has a bit of a shadow to him because of the loss of his mother so early while he was still a kid who could barely even speak and the loss of his father who wandered away from the clan, disillusioned with its comforts because of how they seemed to justify the fact that, that his mate died with the idea that she deserved it because of the accidental death that she had caused when she was younger. So that never sat very well with Wild Nose and he vanished. A lot of the cats have changed since that time. We have had a whole new slew of warriors born into the clan. We have a whole bunch of them right here all of a sudden. Ashfur, Greyclaw, and another warrior have just shown up. Birchpool. So they are this generation of warriors. You are welcome to snag... Ooh, Ashfur, you're a nice calico. You are welcome to snag their names if you would like. Uh, so you can do the role playing in the comments. But yes, you guys, I did say that if we ended up getting hit by a car or if we ended up dying, we would go ahead and just accept the death and then move on with Apple Kit. So Applekit has now grown up into Apple Shadow. And unfortunately, even though he has an odd talent and everyone tends to joke about it a little bit for finding apples, which aren't really useful to a cat. Um, oh, and let's run for it. Let's run for it. Oh my gosh. Oh, run. That's, that's a whole Shadow Clan patrol coming to cause a lot of trouble. Did you see that? But even though Apple Shadow does have um, quite 
quite the playful personality, well, quite the playful skill in being able to find apples. He is a little bit of a depressed cat, or I should say he's very quiet. He's very, very thoughtful, and he has a bit of a shadow cast on his heart from the loss of his mother, and the way that some of the cats do say she deserved it for causing the death of Silk Lily. So that's a, that's a lot to carry on one small cat's shoulders, and he is just recently a new warrior, so he doesn't really have any particular skills, and he does need to gain a little bit of a reputation. The odd effect of his mother passing away the way she did and having just become a stronger warrior is that she did leave a little bit of a legacy that he was able to ride off of when he became a warrior. So Skystar expects big things from him. Nightfeather is still around as the elder. We have Shinefur in here and she has once again named two of the kits Bramble Kit and Long Kit. Frost Willow is still in charge of the prey pile and Snowheart is still the medicine cat apprentice. And we're starting all over with Apple Shadow to carry on Renfeather's legacy. One of the legacies that Renfeather left behind is that there's a good patch of goldenrod plants that just seem to grow right up here in this corner. So that's really sweet. And we will meet the other cats of the clan in the morning and I will show you guys um, all of the collection that Apple Shadow has actually inherited. So he inherited a few of the shiny things and this is the super special shiny thing that he keeps down here away from everything that his mother gave him. So this is the shiny thing that Renfeather gave to him before her death. And then we have a small rock that has just always stayed down here and an apple left over from his dad. So he does keep um quite the collection of apples actually. And I guess we can just like pile the apples back here. <laughs> There's not really much to do with them. Them. So we'll just kind of make a pile of apples and it seems really playful But apple shadow like I said, he has a shadow to his whole heart And even though he has this playful pile of apples He doesn't really seem to thrive all the other cats may knock him around and use him as toys And they're a common thing to see in Thunder Clan because of apple shadow But it's not really something that that brings a lot of joy to his heart <gasps> Sad, so sad. And then up here we have Eagle Jaw, another one of the other males, the other Toms in Thunder Clan right now. And then we have the two females that I'm sure you guys will be very interested in Tangle Lake. So Tangle Lake right over here. And then down here we have Small Claw. And I will admit, Small Claw, even though she's very shy, does kind of seem like the kind of cat that maybe could bring Apple Shadow out of the darkness just because she has such bright, fun colors and they really pop against the snow, actually. That's quite pretty. All right, and then we have Quick Risker down here, and he's another one of the males, very friendly. And Deputy Preyheart is still here. Uh, in the fight with Wind Clan, I think Apple Shadow might become a deputy's assistant. He would definitely want to battle. He would want to prove himself. Let's go ahead and give Small Claw one of the shiny things. Hey, Small Claw. Why not? I think that we just go ahead and give him a give her a small shiny thing because Apple Shadow would be enchanted with how she pops up out of the snow and sort of shines in the snow with her coat color with all of her spots. So he would give her a shiny thing. He probably doesn't think too deeply about it. He's just like, this is pretty. That's pretty. Have the pretty thing. And at the same time, he's so morose. Oh, so hopefully he'll have a uh, more exciting and happier personality soon. Snowheart, how are you? Oh, what to do, what to do? Lightning Paw, one of the apprentices, was wounded when he fell out of the Great Sycamore. So we need to go ahead and get some horsetail. So we'll go search for horsetail. And then Shinefur, what do you need? The strangest thing happened. Oh, the golden ring. So I don't think he'd even hesitate. I don't think Apple Shadow sees a lot of value in his collection of shiny things. His collection of apples is just like incidental. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we'll have to see how many apples Apple Shadow will be able to collect up, but we'll come and give Shine Fur Another shiny thing since she seems to collect so many of them. Oh, hello there I remember when you were just a wee kit like the other ones here a uh, smooth rock from the riverbank Oh, no problem. We've got that inside of our little pile of things, too So let's go ahead and grab the small rock. But yeah, Apple Shadow man poor buddy lost both his parents it feels kind of surreal playing with him after Renfeather, but this works. This works. We'll have to see. And I love his story now because it's so sad. Let's see. Another small rock. No problem. So we need to look for some horsetail and some small rocks. And now we have to start all over again with completing the medicine cat quest. But I think that Apple Shadow would actually be more interested in fighting. I think that he kind of believes that all cats will betray you because he's grown up, even in ThunderClan, hearing how ThunderClan speaks badly, a little bit badly, 
sadly at least, of his mother and blames her for what happened to her uh, or says that Star Clan decreed that she deserved that and that really gets under Apple Shadow's fur. And I mean, even his father left, even Wild Nose just left the clan after a while. So maybe, maybe Apple Shadow will end up becoming our rogue. What do you guys think about that? I could definitely see that happening because of the way that poor Renfeather's uh, reputation is still suffering in the clan. Oh, let's get out of here. I don't think Apple Shadow really is interested in taking on a battle that he can't win, but he's very crafty. I wouldn't put him past him. In fact, I wonder. Yeah, the, those cats are gone, but I wouldn't put it past him to try to lure the cats to get hit by a, a monster because I think that's how Apple Shadow believes. Oh, justice could be doled out. Oh, no, you don't, guys. Oh, no, you don't. We're not even properly battling, you guys. Nope, 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 nope. Come on, come on, come on. Come up here. We'll, we'll play chicken with the monster if it means getting some of the Shadow Clan cats hit. Oh, yeah? Oh, yeah? You guys need to follow me. Come on, come on. And, oh, Red Moss just dodged that. But Apple Shadow totally would do this again and again. <gasps> Ooh, they're really good at dodging though. All right, we'll run for it. We'll kind of dash through here. There we go, through the snow. And he's probably clever enough not to leave too many of his own tracks behind. Ah, uh, I bet he would rail against that. Like, monsters, you took my mother. Why won't you take these these Shadow Clan cats? Oh, never mind. Oh man, a whole bunch of them got hit and nothing happened. I, I guess they didn't get hit like closely enough. I really shouldn't sound so sad when we say that because they oh the shadow clan What the heck? It's a shadow clan invasion you guys. This is not good. This is not good Roseheart dragon soul Uh, The territory is pretty calm today. No, it's not. There's a shadow clan invasion on like three spots up here You guys need to get down here and take care of this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Here we go again Novice shadow paw. Can I get you? Can we fight? Can we fight? Okay, got him. Okay, got him. Dusk Moth. Okay, got that one. We did it! We did it! We defended this stretch of the territory from Shadow Clan. Wow, Apple Apple Shadow really does have a pretty good a pretty good battle ability. Huh. Maybe he's he is meant naturally for battle. Maybe that experience will make him want to go ahead. Whoops, sorry about that. Make him want to go ahead and try battling the Wind Clan invasion. We'll drink up some of the snow from this moss. But I wonder if that experience would actually make him want to go ahead and try battling Wind Clan for the invasion that they have over by Four Trees that we keep having Deputy Preyheart talk about. All right, Apple Shadow. We're gonna go ahead and drop off. I mean, look, he's like better at fighting than I ever managed to pull off with Renfeather. So we'll drop these off and then let's come on over. And before we run out of the opportunity to, we're going to buy one of the bonus coins so that he has another bonus coin. And we're gonna let him get a little bit of sleep and maybe even bring one of the little goldenrod flowers. We'll go ahead and bring that over to Small Claw, just, just because, just because. There we go, there you go, Small Claw. They don't really have a lot to talk about yet, it seems. But hopefully we'll be able to woo her over, collect up more apples, and figure out what Apple Shadow's future will be like now that his mother is gone and with so much of the clan saying some not so great things about her, will he have any incentive to say with Small Claw? Or will he end up becoming a rogue and wandering off and establishing his own clan territory before then? So we'll have to see what Apple Shadow's future is going to be, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye